Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Tiny Rogues action. I've got a new run on the docket today for you folks. And this is going to be a run featuring the pirates. Ahoy, matey! So the pirate is a ruthless pirate sailing the high seas, you know, plundering ships in coastal towns. The reputation is built and their bounty that grows is more and more feared. Now the pirate has a really cool system in play. It's kind of a class system and doing a piratey deeds will increase our bounty, which in turn increases our rank and gives us special bonuses. I'll go into that once we get into it. But from my understanding, that's the way the pirate works. Really, really cool system in effect. A strength and dexterity based character, minus one alignment. And folks, I will try to limit the piratey talk, matey. But it's kind of hard. I mean, you just kind of got to do it. You got to have some humility for sure. So we're going to go with the key ring. We're going to go with Cinder 16, of course. The campfire setup looks like so. And we're going to hop right on in here, matey. So let's rock and roll. And while we're rocking and rolling here, folks, if you are enjoying the content on the channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. We'd love to have you in the community. Thank you so much. Let's rock and roll. All right, slow cutlass, pirate frock, and pirate tricorn. We also have our nice little parrot friend here. So here's how it works. We are currently a rookie. We have a zero gold bounty on our head. Um, as we get more, as we do more of these piratey deeds off to the right here, piratey deeds increase your bounty. So opening a treasure chest plus 500, defeating a boss 250, level up 250, reveal secret room 500. So that's how it works. That's what we're going to focus on here. So let's rock and roll, and our parrot friend here will help actually help us uh, find magic items. So a pretty good guy to have. And I'm going to go with the bombs right away. I don't want to miss my secret room, which from what I understand, based on how I read that, will certainly give us a, a bounty. And the centurion comes in swinging, takes us out. I did, of course, go with the keys so we can capitalize on some treasure chests. Oh, man. Four to five bombs, or we get the plus one permanent heart. Just lovely. Let's open our first chest up here and stack up some bounty. See how strong this pirate can eventually be. All right, we get the fierce bola crossbow. Two-handed crossbow ranged scales with strength and dex. Definitely better than what we're currently rocking. Shiver me timbers. So you see there, we did rank up to a bilge rat. And we got the emblem of chaos here early, folks. Okay, so it's going to be one of these runs where the curse will, of course, come into effect. But more importantly, the luck will come into effect. So we are a bilge rat right now. So 20% increased movement speed. Very, very nice. Uh, gloves or a helmet. Let's go with the gloves. And let's rock and roll. Minotaur, what's up? See if we can kind of just focus fire down these robots here first. Definitely want to get the robots taken care of. And I just have a feeling the Minotaur is not fit for the high seas, matey. Let's go. All right, down goes the Minotaur, and what is the effect on this? Uh, it flicks Bola, so Bola's stackable status effect that after not refreshing... Okay, got it. I like that. All right, what do we have? We have the Poison Dart Wrist. Not bad, pretty pretty decent. Fortune Charm. Uh, I'm going with the Fortune Charm for sure. That's going to pair well with our Parrot Friend here. 30% magic find plus... 2.5% per chest opened, and we get the Boneyard here. Unfortunately, not the Forgotten Mine. I was looking to dance. Because, you know, sometimes you just got to dance it out. And if this is your first exposure to Tiny Rogues here on the channel, folks. So there is a stage in Floor 2 called the Forgotten Mine. You get it sometimes. And in the Forgotten Mine, of course, is just a jam. An absolute jam. And I just love dancing it out to that jam here in my chair. We have the Butcher Cleaver. Unfortunately, it is trash, but it's a pretty strong weapon. 
Crappy Cross Glaive, we have the God Awful Snow Launcher, and then the Dartling Gun. I mean, I think you make the case you go with the Butcher Cleaver here and you just try to repair it. I think that is the no-brainer choice. In fact, it might just be okay to use outright. I mean, it does better damage. Let's just try it out. If we don't like it, of course, we can always move off of it. But it's a really strong weapon, especially for this early in the game with the, with the bleed effect on it. So yeah, we'll be using a trash weapon here, folks. And X marks the spot. And we get the Grass Blade. It does attack fast. Yeah, we're going to stick with the Bola Crossbow as our secondary. Alright, we have a golden chest and an event room. Let's go with the event room. Let's not screw around here. Primary stat would be strength for right now. We have seen some strength weapons, so let's go with the red. Plus 25 equip load capacity. Not bad. We'll take it. A gold or a shop. Let's go with the gold. And it's funny that the skeletons <laughs> can bleed, right? I'm sure in a future update they will adjust some of these so they're a little more logical, right? Skeletons can't bleed. Although in Tiny Rogues, folks, Tiny Rogues has its own universe here. And in Tiny Rogues, it certainly can. Alright, so now we are a Powder Monkey. And the Powder Monkey increased bomb damage, okay? I don't commonly use bombs as a means for attack. We have a Nano Suit here, plus one armor. Should we go with the Bionic Cyborg Pirate? Yeah, we definitely should. Alright, looking good, looking good. Guaranteed Helmet here, what is this doing for us? Guaranteed Golden Chest Reward appear on the choice of doors before the boss. Okay, so that is a means to, of course, level up. But if we can lock in a good Helmet here, I mean, we'll definitely be going with that instead. Lich, get bled. And that bleed damage is just way too strong for him. Even a trash weapon can take down the Lich, and down goes the Lich, of course. And let's see how we look in... 2,500, so we are close to another level up with a 25% increased attack speed, which is just lovely. Puppeteer Mask. I went with the Puppeteer set in my last run. <laughs> Very strong, actually. Um, It's an option. It is. Shark Tooth ne Necklace. Shark Tooth... I can't say that. Shark Tooth Necklace. Excuse me. My goodness. Uh, Nun Robe. The Archery Gloves. I mean, we can't go with that. The nun robe is... I mean, it's okay, I suppose. Archery gloves, I mean, who knows? Maybe we get a ranged weapon. But standing still is kind of a scary proposition. Let's go with it. Let's throw it on. Might not necessarily use it, but that's okay. Let's rock and roll. Let's keep going with our trash butcher cleaver. Alright, so we have the Cursed Broccoli here. Obviously going with this. Alright, Broccoli, yeah, we'll take it. And we get a little bit of Bounty, and we also get our first level up here. So we have Beef, we have Raise Morale, and Cheap Shot. Lucky hits are always super effective in Grant. Cheap shot, buff the Grant's 100% increased trigger damage, raise morale. I think it's a, you know, we're a, we're a hardy pirate, right? And uh, morale, right? I think it just kind of makes sense. It kind of fits the kit. It kind of fits the lore. Let's see if we can actually make use of uh, some raise morale here, though, right? See you later, Centurion. Not this time. You're just not quick enough this time. Backup armory for uncommon weapons. 
All right, so we do get Luck, Galactic Bible, and the Potent Falchion. Galactic Bible is rare. It will sell better. So let's do that. Warrior Stash. Yeah, we're all over this. And Meaty Boys, what's up? Just welcome back. Welcome back. Something with uh, the Butcher Cleaver and the Meaty Boys is just quite an image. All right, let's unlock this. Let's get something beastly. It's the Nunchaku. Crappy Nunchaku. Never mind. So now we are the Sea Devil, which is very nice. So let's increase attack speed. Perfect. Love to see that. All right, looking good. Pawn Shop. Or we could secure some more bombs. Let's go with the Pawn Shop here. It's just time to move off of some stuff. Do a little spring cleaning, right? All right, what are we looking at here? Do we like the bullet crossbow? Yeah. A tavern. Yep, popping in the tavern. Might be a good opportunity to decide kind of what what we're doing here. Um, where are we ultimately going to take this run, right? So we are negative one alignment, of course. We could go lawful. I was just recently in heaven, so why don't we take this to Amon? And of course, we can get some dice. But yeah, let's go evil. We're already, uh, you know, a step of the way there. With our starting alignment, of course. Let's buy some beers, because, you know, every pirate needs to be all boozed up, for sure. And let's grab this golden chest here. And use our increased attack speed here to our advantage. And we get a bunch of gold and a nice little gift box here. So what do we have? Was that cheese? Did I see? Nope, that was not cheese. Didn't catch what that was. A key, maybe? Could be. Uh, guaranteed rare item. Yes, you take this, especially with the luck we have. Tango Maja with the physical resistance. Looks like bomb enchanted as well. All right, let's focus on the robots. They just cause unnecessary chaos. Let's let that bola do its thing. Five stacks on them. Let it go off. More bleed. More bola stacks. Alright, down goes the Tangle Ma Ja. And we ranked up to captain now. Alright, we are just cruising through the ranks here. Plus one companion weight limits. Uh, yeah, you bet. So let's get another parrot, Métis. All right, we have the battle robe, plus one armor, plus two mana. Pretty darn good, actually. Wedding dress, we have the eagle quiver and the sheep costume. Plus one max companions, but you deal 25% less damage. Nah, I can't rock that. Let's go with the battle robe. Who knows? Maybe we'll stumble into a mana draining weapon. Law shop. We'll at least pop in here and take a look. Brawler charm, melee damage. Uh, stamina recovery speed and emerald ring. We can go with this. Don't necessarily like burning my souls there, but it does work with our kit. Very much see us using melee weapons. Uh, the beef or the obsidian chest. How's the beef looking? Yeah, we gotta, gotta get the strength a little bit higher. Just all kinds of, uh, exploding enemies in this one. My goodness. But our parrot friends uh, scout the area and come on back for the win, of course. Let's go with the bombs. Don't want to run out of these. Got to stay mobile around these totems.
All right, so I'm definitely in the market. Well, we might solve our problem right here. Let's see. Steady anchor flail. I mean, that is a maritime themed weapon, isn't it? Quicholi. Explosive hits melee weapon. Okay. We have the legendary divine axe. My goodness, folks. We have a legendary 25% increased damage. Primary attack deals decent slashing damage and grows with strength. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. So I think this is going to get a lot stronger as our strength tops out. It's already hitting pretty darn well. Grows with strength is kind of uh, subjective. Not exactly sure what that means. But we're going to find out. Obviously, it means the weapon gets more powerful with the higher our strength is. But how scary can it actually get is, is the question. Because right now, it's a little underwhelming. But, I mean, you just, you got to take the legendary. Probably a little underwhelming because the enemies are shielded. All right. Lady Luck, come on. What do we got? Poison Double Scythe. Okay. We have a golden chest that is a mimic, so let's take it out. Especially with our high luck here, and it's a blood chest too. Which is terrifying. Yeah. I mean, this is getting absolutely nutty. The blood chest mimic is just insanely strong. I gotta get one of them down here. Alright, blood chest mimic goes down. And we revive there, man. Goodness gracious. That was terrible. Just really bad all around. But what do you do? And does it pay off? Not really. It really doesn't. Alright, blacksmith to upgrade weapons and repair armor or a dragon slayer stash for a weapon. Let's pop into the blacksmith. Let's get this thing upgraded. It needs the damage, like, desperately. Alright. So let's recover and reset here. That... Broom just completely defeated me. Let me know in the comments section, folks, if you've had some trouble with the blood mimic room. Blood chest mimic room. Oh, my goodness. Unfortunately, it didn't really pay off too much for us. But usually that's your ticket to something real, real nice. Not this time, though. That's alright, let's settle down. And let's get our strength sky high. I'm thinking Goliath Greaves. Let's go. Plus four decks there and another level up. One step ahead, precision, titan grip, and adrenaline. Precision gets swiped from us. Two-handed melee weapons count is one-handed. I mean, is there any chance that... I mean, we're kind of just rocking with this for now. One step ahead. I mean, I suppose we could grab it. Repeated attacks have doubled their critical hit multiplier. On taking damage or on defy death, gain adrenaline. 100% increased damage. Let's go with it. I mean, I like Titan Grip there for sure, but... What are you going to do? Melee weapon guaranteed boots. Let's go with the boots. We have Gargoyle Brothers. Well, I didn't try to do that. I was trying to use the Green Blossom quick. That's okay. Alright, robots are down.
All right, down goes one of the gargoyles here. All right, so now our adrenaline should be popping off here. And we do a noticeable amount of damage for sure. Maybe adrenaline isn't all that bad. Pirate King. So we have ascended the ranks all the way to become the king. Very nice. And what do we have here? Socks with sandals. Homunculus ring. Plus one max companion capacity. Sniper quiver. I mean, the homunculus ring is decent, but I can't in good faith put it on over this. Intimidate will cause the enemies to take more damage. Sounds good to me. Alright, we have to start getting our alignment all figured out here too. Not really seeing too many evil shops. Well, I mean, not seeing any evil shops for that matter. Uh, we're at an impasse here. I think I have to do a recovery. And we're just taking hits. It's not great. It's not ideal. Rabbit charm. Lucky hit chance. I think I'm good on that. Oh great, we're poisoned now too, huh? Just keep stacking strength. Let's get to a place where this axe puts us over the top. Plus three strength. Not a question in my mind about this. Alright, what kind of attack pattern do we have? We have the spinny laser version of the Centurion here. And we take another hit. Get out of here, Scorpions. And your proximity shield. All right, meat shank. So how's this looking these days? Okay. Yeah, it's definitely growing with strength. As advertised. Zodiac loop. Wow. Okay. I think this makes our kit pretty darn strong. I think we need it for now to... I mean, we definitely need the damage, right? I've got to stumble into a way to restore my health, too. My goodness. We are getting dangerously close to death here, folks. There's another strength. The cost of an intelligence, quite okay with me. Uh, we have the black market here. Okay. Here's a flask refill. There's a meat shank. We can offload a bunch of stuff. Okay, so this is... Very good. In fact, it might save this run in in a way. Flask recharge for one soul. Uh, yes. What do we have? Fletcher charm. We have the mana regen charm. Dex charm. Meat shank. Yeah, you bet. Sausage. Yep, you bet. Another level up. Fire and Blood, War Cry, Battle Rush. Uh, Battle Rush, increased damage and movement speed per stack. 10 stacks. Last one second decays. War Cry, taunts all enemies. You can stack Burn and Bleed for up to 10 stacks. Let's go with Battle Rush. Not in love with that, though. And what do we have? Illegal Quad Blasters. Pretty strong weapon, but does not scale with strength, and it's just not better. 
Do we have a gold dice to re-roll this? We do not. Alright. Well, thanks. Appreciate ya. Poison for six more rooms. Goodness gracious. Alright. Obsidian chest or a pair for decks. How about, uh, beef? Where's the beef, right? What was that? Where, where's the beef? What was that? Like, from the 80s or something, right? Some, like, marketing? Uh, I don't know. I'm not too familiar with the 80s, but... I know that was, like, a slogan or something. Alright, blacksmith to repair our armor. My goodness. Uh, yes. Give us one tick of survivability before we are eradicated from this plane of existence. We have a shop that could lead to a variety of things. Let's pop in here. What do we have? Uh, we have a key. Definitely be taking that. Spiked shield. Plus one block. Grants thrusting damage to melee attacks. It's nice and cheap and we can easily hold it. Uh, yeah, matey. I do think so. Carry it on a stick. And then two bombs. Don't necessarily need those. Let's roll this. Plus one key. Could always use the key. Let's go. We are kind of uh, patching this one together. We're getting some stuff that we need. Let's see if I can recover this one. Random companion or guaranteed helmet. Go with the helmet. What kind of pirate would we be without our trusty parrot, right? We're starting to do some good damage now, though, for sure. I mean, we are hitting good now. I think the Zodiac loop really helps. Alright, see you later, Pharaoh. Gonna have to do better than that. Alright, we're starting to gain some momentum here. Just gotta stay alive. Alright, what do we have? We have the Fairy Crown, plus 5 dex. Turban. Concentration. Fire Fist Gauntlets. Gonna add fire damage to our melee attacks. Yeah, don't mind if I do. We'll take that. Evil shot. About time. Garnet charm. Plus three strength. Increase physical damage and hex charm. Debuffs. Okay. So we can make use of this. Do we need the muscle charm right now? No, we don't. So let's go with the garnet charm. I'll probably have to heal up just to stay alive, right? Uh, hex charm. For 14 souls. We kind of do need the evil interaction. Yeah, this will just get us there. And will allow us to top up as well. So, let's go ahead and get that. Let's do something like that. Alright, we are nice and evil and onward. This has admittedly been a bit of a rocky run, I'm not going to lie, but I feel like we're kind of getting some traction here. In fact, I'm going to save my souls here. There is a tavern on this floor. We just need to make sure that we get enough gold, which we have right now, to top up at the nurse, of course. Random booze or more gold. Tavern will be our supply for booze. And we are just melting through things right now. And I almost took a hit there. Alright, event room that's behind a locked door. We'll probably go in that direction here. 29 strength. My goodness. And we are hitting pretty mightily with this right now. Very good. Event room. I think this guy wants to what? Dance? Or teach us an ancient combat technique? Shall teach you one lesson, but one lesson only, Métis. You must decide which lesson. True might, true speed. Obviously, we're going true might here. Ready up? Follow my moves. Show me your moves, man. Alright, we got left, down, left. Left, 
down, left. Lovely. Up, left, left, right. Up, left, left, right. Right, left, right, right, down. Right, left, right, right, down. All right, we win. We are the winners. Exceptional performance, he says. Seems we've mastered his techniques. Plus 25% increased damage with non-crits. Wow. Okay, so that is a nice damage increase there. We have a pawn shop. Could also get some more keys. I mean, we got some stuff that we could sell. Yeah, let's do it. All right, we have a shop, we have some booze. We also have a dice. Let's go with the key. All right, tavern. Yeah, we need this pretty badly and we get the underground hatch as well. Very nice. Take some dice, you bet. Thanks, buddy. Um, let's check it out. Gold dice. For seven souls. Three of them, though. We have the heart container for 31 souls. Man, I wish I could afford that. What are we looking at for curse? We have one curse, exactly. Alright. We'll certainly see. Uh, meat shank. <laughs> yes. Bombs and then double keys. Tiger Charm, Elusive Charm, and Rainbow Charm. I'll go with the gold dice. I will go with the double key. Don't need more bombs. And I could re-roll this, but I think I'm good on that. Alright, let's go. Blacksmith. Don't really need it. Do we need anything else from here that we can think of? How about some beers? I'll take 14 road beers to go, please. Definitely need some road beers. Let's roll this. Random tome. I am sitting on some traits that I'm not crazy about. We could try it out. I think I'm good. Warrior stash for a melee weapon. Let's do it. Maybe we get a nice little secondary that has a little bit of range on it. Maybe. Another secret hatch here. We get the storm hammer. It's a mace melee. Lightning does some impressive striking damage. And look at that lightning damage there, folks. Um, Yeah. Nice attack speed as well. Is this back to the underground market? <laughs> of course it is. I feel like I was just here. My goodness. All right. Um, Gale wind steps. I mean, there's nothing we can really do here. Yeah, we, we don't got enough cash for anything. Unless we sell the Emblem of Chaos or this newly acquired Storm Hammer. Let's sell the storm hammer. I mean, let's be honest. We're not going to use it. The moment of chaos, I think we can probably sell this too. I mean, we have the zodiac loop, right? It's just objectively better. And that'll allow us to get some more keys. Lock those in. You bet. Do we like any of these companions? Nope. Alright, we're good. Thank you. All right, obsidian chest. Yeah, we'll take the obsidian chest. And just melt our enemies before us. X marks the spot down here, folks. And what do we have? We have the guardian angel, plus one armor, plus one revive. Revives once per room. This right here is very much, in a lot of ways, a run saver. Uh, yeah, tr tremendous. Flare mantle as well. Very, very nice. 
Thank you, game. Blue hoodie. Not wild about that. Epic items, yes. Let's go. Alright, we have some newfound energy here. Alright, Library Guardian, just you and me, bud. You're going down. You're going down. Is my projectile getting bigger on this axe? It kind of seems like it, doesn't it? Okay, we have some more legendary items here. Kitsune Mask. I mean, that's a decent one for what we're currently rocking. We have the Illusionary Cloak. But of course, we get two legendary armors when we have a legendary armor already, right? Radiant damage to melee attacks. I think we kind of need this. The Spike Shield. I could go Kitsune Mask. That's not going to be a popular choice, though. Revives once per room. I mean, that's that's pretty good. There's plus two evade. I really like that. I'm going to re-roll this, folks. Hopefully, we at least get one more legendary. But, I mean, we get a bunch of legendary armors to choose from. And here's a legendary accessory, I do believe. Angel Charm. We are not... Mystical Belt. Are these the Goliath Greaves? Goliath Greaves. Plus 20 strength. Uh, yes. Yep, you take that and you, you simply just run with it. You take this over the legendary... Absolutely. All right, so let's do a little bit of a case study here, folks. 1539 to, to 3311. 3479 to 7100. And look at how gigantic this axe is. Okay, so now I think I get the shtick with this axe. Insane. Okay, I'm loving this. 52 strength. <laughs> I mean, I, I thought it was getting a little bigger, I guess. Actually, I'm going to grab this instead. But my goodness, now it's gigantic. What a goofy weapon. Divine Axe. Alright, we need a lot more survivability for sure. Let's see if we can lock that in. But let's melt our enemies. How about some paw mitts? I want to get the paw mitts. That'd be awesome. Billful Zweihander. Gi Chang. Staple gun. One always makes me laugh. Alright, let's go with the Zweihander. And we got the beef because it's just what's for dinner here. Meaty boys, yeah. You haven't, uh, you haven't seen me lately, have you? Okay, so this weapon does get incredibly powerful. Barbarism, Razor's Edge, Overwhelming Presence. 0.5% increased effective buffs per equip load capacity above 100%. I mean, what are we rocking for buffs? We have morale. Oh yeah, that's going to be very strong. Yeah, that's going to be very, very strong. So now we should... Yeah, plus 200 power. Wow. Okay. Wow. All right. We're looking good now. This is an uncanny build, but it's coming together. It's it just it's one of those runs that just takes a while to kind of get off the ground, right? You got to get a few things to kind of go your way, and then... Boom. You are staring at... At least a chance to take this all the way. Pawn shop or random consumable... Could use the pawn shop. Could also use a whetstone. Some cheese, maybe. I mean, I've got beers. Road beers, right? Let's go with the consumable. Seventeen road beers. 
We get a purging stone, we get repair powder, and we get the whetstone. Beautiful. Whetstone, let's level it up. Repair powder, we'll take that. Blue hoodie. Pull you down. Should we grab the purging stone? We'll have another tavern on floor 9. Alright, fish and chips. Looking good. X marks the spot. Nicholas, if you're watching, shout out to you, my friend. Bicento! That is an epic. Let's get rid of the purging stone. Decided against it. A mimic box here. Well, they're not too much of a challenge that time, huh? So this will make us incredibly strong. Like, incredibly strong. With overwhelming presence. These potions. We're going to be very, very strong for a long while. If we could somehow get mage blood, right? Just, just envision that for a moment. A golden chest, random booze. Going with the gold. Bombs and gold. Always good stuff. Uh, epic item. Yeah. We're going with it. And this will probably be the fire dragon, right? Nope, it's the phoenix. Alright, phoenix, what's up? <laughs> Just melted. Just get melted, Phoenix. Get melted everything. Let's go. This weapon has really ascended to a whole new tier. S++. Strength scaling. Are you kidding me? Look at that damage, folks. My goodness. We have diamond armor. Plus three armor. It's very, very nice. Raven Talisman. Amon's Grasp. While evil, your primary attacks inflict doom. I mean, we gotta go with those, right? It's not like the most enchanting choice, but it's a 4-7 legendary. Yeah. Let's go with it. Man, this axe is uh, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. I love how it grows with you, you know? That's very cool. And the game seems to be kind of keened into the fact that I do have the axe, and it's hooking me up with strength. Alright, very nice. Let's go more strength, even over the mana. Who cares at this point? We're all in on strength. In fact, if we could somehow get, like, beef, like, the beef uh, level up, right? There certainly are, are ways to make this even more insane. In fact, I wonder how large this axe is going to get, how strong it's going to get. Petrified armor, or a Dragon Slayer Stash Mimic. Oh man, I have to go with the Petrified armor. I know, not, not a popular choice, but I'm starving for some survivability here, folks. Let me know, what choice would you make there? Please let me know. I feel like I made the right choice. I, I feel like I did. Two soul hearts. Yeah, we'll take this. I mean, I'm very confident in our damage potential, our damage output, right? Obviously. It took us a while to kind of get here, but we are here now. But survivability is always a concern. All right, mage stash or shop. Uh, let's let's roll it. Bombs are a potion. Let's roll it. Obsidian chest. All right, let's get. We have the pharaoh mask. No thanks. Random dice or an alchemy stash. Let's go with the dice. Let's 
This weapon is insane, folks. I was a little underwhelmed by it at first. I'm not going to lie. Just a little bit underwhelmed by it. But now it is just absolutely insane. It, it has grown on me, <laughs> quite literally. Gold chest. Now we're going to roll this. Cursed shrine. Or a beef. Gotta take the beef. Just gotta do it. And another level up here. Let's see what we have now. Berserking, Titan Grip, Lightning Conductor, Dynamo. We deal a critical hit or a ruthless hit gain Berserk. We deal ruthless hits with our Zodiac Loop. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. And this is, of course, a buff that will be exemplified by our overwhelming presence here. So I think we have a pretty strong addition. Goliath Greaves are a non-negotiable. We keep those on. Legendary item. Absolutely. Here we go. And we have the Arch Pontiff. And this guy has the tendency to pontificate, of course. And he also has the tendency to just melt. See you later. Although you did get my block. That guy can low-key kind of get out of control on you. All right, here we go. We have all kinds of stuff here. Okay, so we have the alchemy gloves. 100% increased effect of potions. Man, if we could only get, like, mage blood. You pair that up with this? You know what I'm saying? Absolutely crazy. Rainbow talisman. Mithril coat. Imagine our plus 30 strength. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, you, you gotta. What's the most strength you've ever seen, folks? We have 87 and, um, yeah. Flask charm. Could also pay 30 to get. Yeah, we're going to go... We're just going to skip this because our alignment is just fine. I mean, we have to... We had to take that. And if we're going to rock and roll with this... We're not doing ruthless hits anymore with berserking, right? I can save the obsidian dice is what I'm trying to say. All right, let's gain a favor. Oh, no. Press the wrong button. My bad. Yeah, what do you do? We'll get a favor next turn. But yeah, I totally meant to get a favor there. And we have the, the siren. We're just getting gifted legendary items right now. And it's a good change of pace, for sure. Meat Shank. Yeah, you bet. When does this thing top out, though? Like, that's the question. Does it literally just continue to scale all the way up? If you somehow have, like, 150 strength? It is wildly strong right now. Just humming. Tearing through everything. Hitting for 15,000 on the top end. Now, if we could get the palm hits here, folks, just think about it. Well, if we could get resolute technique, that is, and then the palm hits. Certainly be looking for it. Uh, let's roll this key. Yeah, we'll take the key. What's up, Centurion? It's good to see you, pal, but you are evaporated. Meaty boys, just... We'll see you later. Range weapon or booze. Meat shank, plus three strength. I swear the game, like, knows that we are all in on strength. And it's, it's hooking us up. It has to. Like, there has to be some kind of code or algorithm in the game or something that recognizes the weapon that I have and it's just hooking me up with all things strength. 
How often do you get both of these in the same build? Right? Probably not too often. All right, we have the underground marketplace again, which is just lovely. Uh, let's see. What else could we use? Some beers for sure. All right. Um, so what does this fellow... What does the mead do? 20% increased melee attack speed. Okay. It's actually pretty strong. Let's get some dice. Bet. And the underground hatch for... I think that... What? Fourth or fifth time in this matchup? Emblem of Tiamat. Ugh. I, I can't, I can't do it. In any other events, I absolutely would, but I, I can't do it. This is going to go good, right here. Burger, yep, you bet. Take that, just eat that. Fencing suit. Weapons that I'm frankly not interested in. Let's offload some stuff. Why hinder? Here you go. A zodiac loop. I don't. Well, it's hard for me to sell that one for sure. Very hard for me to sell that one. Now I could re-roll this. I'm going to buy this. Let's re-roll it. Another meat shank. Yeah, you bet. Power potion. Yep, you bet. Just use that outright. Fish bones. Shellfish surge. With overwhelming presence, like, why not just load up on all that stuff? Star Fury. Shout out to Terraria. Alright, I think we're good to go here. We seriously have 535 Equiplo capacity? My goodness. Wow. Just nutty. Take another pair of fish bones here. And I'm going to sell the Zodiac Loop here, folks. I'm doing it. It just makes sense. Alright, let's go ahead and re-roll this. Keep our eyes open for Repair Powder Guy. Potion guy also as well. We're all boozed up. Here he is. Alright, looking good. I think I'm good with that. We're running out of inventory space, of course. Plus one strength. Um, yes. This might be the highest a uh, single stat I've ever had. Plus 10 power per actor. Shield bash or razor's edge. Wow, look at that damage. Five melee attacks. Uh, I, I love Brawler. Especially with overwhelming presence, right? All right, more beef. My goodness, this game is just hooking up the strength upgrades. Never seen anything like it. 500 equip load capacity. 
What's the highest single stat that you've ever seen? Do let me know, please. Because we're, we're sitting at 99 strength. And we have the perfect weapon to rock a build with 99 strength. Right? We just do. This came together insanely well. Set item, range weapon, accessory, or companion. Do we need the magic find anymore? Maybe we can get a companion that gives us, like... I don't know. Something crazy. We'll see. Let's melt the abomination, though, first. My goodness, I've never seen. <laughs> he is just instantly KO'd. Did you see that? Did you see his health bar just... Boom, gone. Completely gone. This actually might be one of the craziest runs I've ever had in Tiny Rogues. I'm not going to lie. All right, what do we have? We have the Voodoo Doll. Summons Voodoo Demon Companions. Plus 5% increased attack speed. 0.25. I mean, we could summon an army of these bad boys. Given that we do have uh, two companion weight. Increased stamina recovery speed. Lucky hit chance. I love this idea. So see you later, my parrots. <laughs> All right, now we are cooking here, folks. Let's go. I mean, literally, I feel sorry for anything that stands in our way. I, I really do. Yes, I need to gain a favor this time, game. Okay. And we're going to do stamina. All right, let's go. One oh two for the strength here, folks. A uh, big soul, yeah, we'll take some big soul action for sure. My goodness. Go get them, my voodoo army. I got the voodoo, got the voodoo guys uh <laughs> chasing around and harassing the meaty boys. <laughs> As the meaty boys like. Just try to get away. They're just not going to get away. Uh, I've got one obsidian dice. So let's think about this for a second. Berserking. When you deal a critical or ruthless hit, I guess we do have a critical hit chance. What else do we have? Battle rush. I mean, that's decent with overwhelming presence for sure. I mean, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. If I re-roll it, there's no guarantee that I get anything of value. Anything of use, right? No guarantee at all. The amount of strength this game has given me is just absolutely insane. Actually, this could be the ultimate blacksmith. It's not. Okay. Uh, alchemy stash. We will go with the alchemy stash here. And we get the mana potion and the inferno potion. Probably the two least impactful potions we could have gotten. Shrine for a permanent blessing. You bet. X marks the spot. We have critical hit chance. Plus one evil. Let's go with the critical hit chance. Ugly Christmas sweater. Just so not interested in that at all. Alright, we got double golden chest. We're still rocking the pirate's hat. Unbelievably. Let's do it. And let's be in the market for a helmet. Who knows, maybe we can secure something legendary. Is there a helmet that ups strength? Yeah, there's the uh, 
the wolf pelt set, right? Alright, one final rest. We have an epic item or guaranteed charm. Let's go with the epic item. And let's see how fast death melts. Let's go. No. You're just... You're so done, death. You're just so done. Get him, my voodoo warriors. See you later, Death. You have been intercepted. Now let's get some kind of decent helmet here. What do you say? I'm still rocking this ridiculous pirate's hat. And more legendaries here, folks. And <laughs> I think this is the ideal helmet that we want. The Viking helmet. You gain rage? Oh, yeah. My goodness. I do like the knife boots as well. But here we go. We're going to the Burning Hells. We're going to find a fellow named Aman. Let's go. With our voodoo warrior army and giant axe that has literally grown with us. My goodness, am I attacking fast with rage? <laughs> I mean, it's just insane. See, you kill one unit and then it's like... And then your attack speed, like, what? I don't even know what it does, but... Overwhelming presence. Amazing. I've got a bunch of newfound respect for that. Trait Tome, yes, we will take this. Might be able to uh, use something to our advantage. We'll see. Imagine if we got beef, right? The, the beef trait. Burn Aura. No, it's just not going to do. Soul Shop. Alright, we have the Spider Silk. Man, this just makes me want to do a companion run. It, it really does. Probably use the, what, the Necromancer for that, right? Okay, okay, okay. Let's settle down now. And we got some beers here, folks. Very nice. Ambrosia, yeah. All right. So, what do we got? Let's get another favor here. Go with more stamina. Offhand. I mean, we could certainly do better. Let's, let's try it out. Otherwise, we could roll this. Let's do it. We have Tiamat here, of course. And I should have used one of my fish bones. Darn. Forgot about that. There we go. Now we're good. And Tiamat is just astonished by the amount of damage that, that we're doing. And frankly, so, so am I. <laughs> I've just never seen anything like it. I really haven't. I've done about 35 to 40 runs in this game. Astonished by this particular build here. Please do uh, let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Started off rocky, but boy, did this get just goofy. Just disgustingly, disgustingly powerful. 
All right, what do we have? We have the Cobalt Shield, Carnage Loop, King's Crown. Grants 10% increased companion damage per companion you have. Be very strong, but I'm not replacing my Viking helmet. Just no can do. What else do we get here? Cactus Orb. Triggers your on taking damage effects. Don't we have adrenaline, right? Yeah. Okay, so I think that's what we have to go with. Dark Orb. Ballet shoes. Yeah, we're going with this. And we're actually going to throw it on. So now we're going to get adrenaline. And then adrenaline is going to be 200% increased damage. <laughs> All right, here we go. We are literally ready to just destroy floor 12. Destroy it. Like, completely defile it. Let's go. Floor 12, let's go. Aman, I've never been more confident against you. So let's go. I will take this. You never know. Maybe we get like beef or something, right? Exit strategy, no. Do I like berserking? Grants 40% more attack and movement speed in the last eight seconds. Okay, I mean, it's, it's eight and a half percent chance. I don't like rerolling it because just never guaranteed to get something that's useful. Berserking is somewhat useful, right? Just melt, meaty boys. Just out of here. My goodness, folks. This is just completely nutty. Just never seen anything like this. I, mean, I gotta say this is the absolute craziest run I've had on this channel. It is. We've had strong builds before, for sure. But I've never quite put together a build like this. It's just the truth of it. Emblem of Balance. Twilight Branch. We've got the Power Scouter. It's 50 power... Yeah, we're going to be dealing more than 9,000 damage in one hit, that's for sure. Alright, resin. Got the voodoo men just taking them down. Alright, critical hit chance. Yeah, you bet. Let's go. All right, one final rest. In Amon, it's it's been a long time coming here, pal. It just has been. I'm gonna use the fish bones, and I trust I get. Let's go. Amon, what's up? He's physically resistant, so he's probably not gonna melt quite like some of the other bosses. But my goodness. But Melty does here, folks. Let's go, Amon. Let's, let's take it all the way here. All right, let's get this little... This little puzzle type thing going on here. What's up, Amon? He's done. <laughs> he is done. And there we go, folks. 
the sun sets on the pirate empire. What a fun, goofy, wacky, overpowered, ridiculous, amazing, incredible, wacky. I already said wacky, but let me say wacky again. What a run. What a run. I hope you enjoyed that one there, folks. Let's take a final look, a final assessment, a final inventory of uh, the ridiculousness that was this run. Now, the run started off a little rocky. Indeed, what did we rev on? We revved on a blood mimic chest on what? Floor 5, floor 6, floor 4? The first 5 to 6 floors was kind of a challenge, kind of a grind. But we eventually got there. Eventually solved our... Uh, we eventually solved our survivability issue. We got the Divine Axe. It was a little underwhelming at first, but boy did the game just throw strength at me, right? Just threw it at me. In fact, to the tune of 107 strength. 585 equip load capacity, which is just absolutely wacky, no matter how you look at it. And with how much everything was scaling, right, with overwhelming presence, raise morale as well, right? And then just everything else that kind of fell into place. S++ strength scaling, plus 331% increase in damage due to our strength. Let's take a final look at our equipment here. Legendary Divine Axe, you are the MVP, my friend. S++, 34391. And then you add all of the other things that we had to make it attack, what, a million times per second? What a run here, folks. Goliath Greaves and the Medjinard Belt in the same run. And then we got the Viking Helmet late. Why not? Just add a little more attack speed. Why not? But yeah, what a run here, folks. We are going to sit upon our throne. And I'm... I don't know. Like I said, I think that's one of the wackiest runs I've, I've done on this channel. I can't remember a run that has been... I mean, we've done runs, like I said, that, that are strong, that are powerful, that kind of synthesize well and go together well and synergize well, right? But never one quite like this. Where we just got, we got all the strength. We got all the strength. The luck was very favorable to us in this one. And boy, was that a lot of fun. I'm glad I was able to hold on in the earlier floors. To really make an awesome and fun and hopefully entertaining to you run out of this one. So I do want to thank you for your viewership, friends. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed this run and you like Tiny Rogues, and maybe you don't play it, but you just kind of like to watch it, well, if you don't play it, I would ask, why not? Just take the plunge. They've got Into the Abyss dropping soon. It's going to be, from what I understand, a pretty significant and awesome update. It's going to add a new kind of end game to the game. Right, so instead of going to Heaven or Hell or the Shadow Plains, my understanding is you can go to the Abyss, which is a brand new uh, brand new area. And that's what they're working on in their latest update here. Beyond Good and Evil. In terms of Vanquish, the first level of the Abyss. So that's cool. Maybe we'll have some new characters, right? Bring the Cyborg to the Abyss and defeat the boss in the Abyss to unlock... What? I mean, they've got a wide array of classes in this game already. But there's plenty of other classes to add, of course. So yeah, Tiny Rogues, awesome game. Would highly recommend it if you enjoy the content. Pick it up for yourself, give it a shot. Let me know how you like it. There's a bunch of people in this community that know a lot about this game. I personally just kind of started playing this, I don't know, a few months ago. Got a lot of runs under my belt now. I'm feeling pretty good overall. But, you know, I learn stuff new every single day and... It's mostly from people in the community kind of commenting and saying, you know, hey, uh, just here's something to consider, right? So if you notice anything back there that I can learn from, please do let me know. Just drop a comment. Let me know how you like the run, right? Did you like that crazy high strength, high attack speed run? I know I sure did. Um, felt like it had a little bit of everything, right? It had kind of a grind, an early grind, right? We weren't just gifted things that allowed us to melt through the game, right? We weren't given something overpowered on the second floor that allowed us to have ease through the rest of the game 
No, instead we had to kind of work for it and we had to kind of get there through Perseverance. So this is a run of Perseverance, but also a run that was a ton of fun. So with that said, folks, if you are enjoying the content, please subscribe. Please give me a like as well. It does help offset some of the negativity, right? There are people that downvote this. I'm just trying to make wholesome content. Trying not to make insane claims in my video titles. I'm just trying to make fun content, a fun run. And if you enjoyed it, it does help offset some of the negativity. If you just give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please consider becoming a subscriber. Would love to have you. And yeah, stay tuned right here to this channel for some more Tiny Rogues content. Also got plenty of other content dropping on the daily. So thank you so much, folks. I do appreciate your viewership. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.